All right, you guys just about ready to rumble? Well, you better watch that certain quote because I believe, uh, I, I forgot his name, but um, if you say his direct quotes and make money off of it or say anything in your streams, evidently he owns the copyrighted uh, uh, phrase, let's get ready to rumble. And if you say it, <clears throat> evidently he can sue you. That's uh, pretty funny. I'll pop online here in just a second. I'm just making sure I'm doing some final checks. Make sure we got everything going okay tonight.
Okie dokie. Wow, we got two minutes to go. Wow, look at that. I'm early. How, how nice is that? Let me just do another quick check really quick, audio-wise. <sighs> Windows 10 pissed me off again tonight. Uh, hold on again. Let me go ahead and click back in here. And boom, there I am. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the countdown timer. We're going to call that a night for the timer. All right, so um, here I am on Valentine's Day. Wife is uh, working, and I am working technically tonight too, but I'm having fun doing my job, <laughs> which is streaming. I did my other non-fun job earlier. <laughs> well, it's work, and it's it's a good job, uh, but... Yeah, this is uh this is this is the fun part of the job. <laughs> so let me go ahead and adjust a few more things here before we get started. But tonight we are um, getting to uh, get. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Starting day one version of uh, Ten Dates. It comes out today. Um, I downloaded it about a week ago. Once I found week or week and a half ago, uh, when it was supposedly coming out. And uh, I said, oh, this would be perfect for Valentine's Day. It is a sequel to Five Dates. Um, depending on how much time we have, we may go for a second run of this, or I may just throw on Five Dates, and we may do that too. So, um, but I'm going to go ahead and think I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, as I've said before, uh, Windows 10 has done this to me three times already, but they had a big update. Whenever they have a big update, it fucks up my audio settings. And I had to go back and start panicking because of my anxiety. And I'm sitting here panicking. I was like, oh, shit, where's my audio at? Why don't I have audio? It was fine before. And then uh, I had to go into a whole bunch of audio settings. And boom, got them all working again. And still on time. But yeah, just a word to the wise. If you have not streamed or you plan on streaming after this Windows 10 update, it might fuck up your audio. You may want to pay attention to it. So... Just a heated warning, pissed me off again. I can hardly remember sometimes when I uh, when I lose my audio. I have to go back, I was like, all right, shit, what do I gotta do to bring my audio back? And well, here we go. So that's my uh, little audio story for tonight. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started on this bad boy. As you can see, it has the same song is five dates but it seems like a little more remixed so let's go ahead and uh let's brighten it up just a tad subtitles on subtitle size is fine black is fine text color is fine all right That looks good. Let's make sure it's... Yep, yeah, it's it stuck. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and break some achievements open. And get this new game started. Player select. Alright, so we can play the guy and we can play the girl. Alright, so we might be able to go two rounds tonight. Let's do Ryan first. Daters. Alright. So, I'm, I'm going like I'm single. Ryan, age 28, 6'0". All oh, right, we're an older gentleman. Well, I'm not sure if you consider 28 to be older. <laughs> Is he wearing a shirt that says rave on it? Wow. All right. Yeah, that's, whoa, bro. Now you're looking like my age. Look at my grandpa there. All right, so I'm, I'm between this one. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Looks, looks like a Tom Brady wannabe. I'm not sure about the, hey, I'm cool. I'm wearing a rave shirt. <laughs> so I think we're going to go with this one. Shows I like animals. Big old St. Bernard. What industry do I want to work in? So... I, I'm going to go with, I mean, I want to be a gamer, so uh, let's go into creative. 
What are my interests? Pick three. Technology. Sports and fitness. I like to work out. And I'm not too much of a partier. So let's go with... Uh, hmm. It's between travel and arts and culture. I'll tell you what, let's just go with travel. And I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm a cancer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick cancer. Uh-oh. Misha, pick not. up the phone. Answer the phone, oh, Misha. That was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great. You're welcome. What's happening? Uh, I just got back from work an hour ago. Same. I've made myself some food. Same. And I've just got off the phone with my landlord. Oh, not same. Yeah, I missed a payment, but <sighs> it's, it's fine. I've paid it now, and it, it's settled anyway. Mm. Anyway, mm. I've got some news. Okay. I joined a day. Oh, it's just app. starting, Ghouls. Have you? Uh, no. Well, I mean... Hold on, I'm not... not you don't hear any echo in the game, right? It's, uh, no... No echo? Well, Everything sounded good. I was good. expecting more shit from you. Well, what, what's the saying they have, um, people in glass houses no? can throw stones? No. It's not sounding good? Or it is sounding good? Or no, no... Oh, okay. Oh my god, don't scare me. I had a big scare before I started this shit. Um... My audio was gone. After a Windows 10 update, the big Windows 10 update, my audio just went and I had to figure out how to add all my audio back and I'm just trying to make sure that there's no echo and it, it sounds perfect. So as long as that's doing good, it's fine. Uh, we're just starting it. I just picked my um, personality. Okay, Whew. thank you. Uh, I just pit, uh, picked my um, uh, personality, my, my sign. Uh, what I like to do for a living, that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and continue. And this is just getting started. I just called my uh, my bruv, <laughs> I guess. And uh, yeah, the game's just starting. So going good so far. So, so far I am on the single road. Wait, you too? Mm -hmm. Matches? Yes, a lot. Now a zero. But don't like apps, like help out new users with Misha, like, likes and you're not helping. You know, they really try and help you get people to like you because you're new. Misha, I still have zero, even with whatever you just said. There's still zero. What about you? Yep. Hey, that's how you score with the women. Now, I've got like <laughs> mating call. Eighty likes, but like once you filter out like the bad profiles and the nude pics and the meh. Ones, nude pics? It's all just a bit quiet. Are there Are nude pics in this game? A little bit high. No. Anyway. I have a new initiative in the works. What's that? You're going to kidnap someone? I've signed up. Yeah. For speed dating tonight. Speed dating. Woohoo! Okay, why are you telling me this? Because I'm bricking it and, like, do you want to have a drink before? Could you just say less? It'd be great if you just stopped speaking about 30 seconds ago. So I, they're, I'm trying to figure out if they're brother and sister or if they're, if they're just, like, purely platonic. Ah, uh, thank you, Alpha Wolf. Well, tonight I'm playing the single role. I am single, not married. Haven't been married for 18 years or nothing. Because there's no substitute for meeting someone face-to-face. -face. <laughs> like, you can see their physicality. Oh, platonic. Feel their vibe. Yes, but what if there is no vibe? What do you do then? If you're online, you can log off, you can make it an excuse, you can just be gone by internet connection. So, this what game... Welcome, everyone. All right. As far as I know, from what I read on this game, this takes place directly after five dates, after... The whole lockdown situation so you can actually go out and date and hug and touch and blah 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 now so this this is taking place as of now everyone to speed dating my name's derek i'm your host oh We're no it's derek very shortly so gentlemen if you could make your way to your table numbers you are so cynical this is where you're going to find that genuine connection you keep banging on about <laughs> Why are you smiling at me like that? Why are you smiling at me like that? No, you definitely need some liquid courage in you, bro. Misha? There is a small possibility I might have signed us both up. Oh, I'm hell the fuck no. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, I'll just leave. Oh, come Today. on. Today. No. Look, at 
least it's going to be a good story. It's it not came out be a good story. I'm just going to get today. humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's a great story. Well, hello, ladies. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing the shop floor. Oh, yes. I pre-ordered it just for this night. Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> okay, so the women stay at the table. The men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man. So speed dating Good. is okay, still a thing, huh? Girls. What do I say? Whatever you like. You have five minutes, okay? Okay. And halfway through the day, hey girl. that dude over there. You find me sexy? Morning, I can wiggle my chest. And then he'll also from those one minute left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. Uh, no, that's why I don't want to do it. Exactly. Uh, we're going to start with the gentleman by your first allotted table numbers. And good luck. Have fun. You ready? And you're speed date. I'm in my first date seat, so I need you to jog on. Go well, lad. Cheers. Well, he's drinking a beer. She's drinking a red wine. All right, let's do this. Oh, is that a martini? Ah. Kathleen, a steady break. All right, let's see how this works out. 118. Okay. Well, hello, ma'am. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'm Ryan. Ryan. I'm Kathleen. Sorry, I just wanted to squeeze in a quick page. Do you mind if I get to the bottom? Yeah, by all means, fire away. Yeah, there goes our five minutes, bruh. <laughs> well, it's one of those uncomfortable silences. <laughs> Done. All yours. What are you reading? Uh, the Evolution of Bond Forming Dynamics Across the 21st Century. By Ooh. Professor Gertrude von Nosselhoff. Well, it must be a pretty good read if you're sneaking in pages in between dates. Oh, no, no, no. I have to finish it for a seminar Sure, curiosity. <laughs> I'm a PhD student in behavioral psychology. Ah! Uh, what do you think of it? She has some interesting points. The chapter I'm... Okay, so to keep track, we can look at all this good stuff. All right, so we have Kathleen Brandy Azalea. Ooh, that sounds like a pretty name. Tony... Derek, Jake, Bash, T Ty, Lucas, and Hazel. All right. All right, Aquacats, thanks for the lurk. So let's, can we take a peek? Oh, hello, Brandy. Brandy is pretty. Azalea is, Azalea is definitely gothic. I, uh, I'm going to be interesting in that one. That one's going to be interesting. I like that one. Tony, she seems like a sporty kind of lady. What's up, Derek? What's up, Jake? Sup Bash. Sup Ty. What's up, Lucas? <laughs> and then Hazel. Alright, so these are our contestants. Alright. So I'm definitely interested in uh Miss Brandy. Kathleen, I'm not too sure about. She might have a good personality. Uh I'm and I, and trust me, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I'm just going by what would make me turned on i guess uh looks wise first and then get to know the lady so brandy's brandy's pretty and azalea definitely <laughs> definitely interested in seeing what's going on here uh, i'm trying to figure out if you look under her left eye is that an upside down cross just uh pointing out the uh obvious there and then maybe the uh, pentagram right down near her um left breast right there so uh yeah that's going to be a pretty interesting date. So Mine back to the story. The influence of pop culture on behavioral modeling and attraction dynamics. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> no, that does sound interesting, but um, I mean, please don't ask my opinion on it because I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't expect that of you. But if this goes well, maybe you'll learn a little something. Maybe. Okay, so you're here because you're looking for a study buddy. No, quite the opposite. I need someone to keep me out of the library occasionally. Ah, so, that I can do, man. Work-life conflict. Which side of it do you fall on? Um, am I allowed to say that balance is best? Life. No, no fence sitting one or the other. Oh. Work is, it's just a necessity. I mean, any moment I'm not in work or on the clock, I can devote to whatever I actually want. Oh, shit, I was thinking, so you're you know, I was thinking the job I have. Uh, very most. I don't think I can stay out of the library that much. Anyway, I have a confession to make. Do you? Okay, already. Everyone tells me that for whatever reason, I haven't lived. 
I don't believe that. I've never been to a nightclub. Ding, 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 ding. Five minutes are up. Never. What, your fourth stint as a student and you've never even set foot in a nightclub? I would rather spend the day in a cafe with a, a book and my laptop. This is your halfway warning, guys. Oh my god, you're halfway. annoying, sir. So you are still studying to become a more qualified psychologist. <laughs> the more you know, the more you earn. So where do you see yourself in five years? Um, Sorry, a I partner with Twitch. Dating questions before tonight. A That's professional you know. gamer. <laughs> it sounds a little bit more like you. Famous. I'm going to be famous in, in five good. years. Uh, I'm going to be well, Glock the partner. I actually have an ambition to be famous <laughs> by then. <laughs> oh my. Oh, um. Sorry, you're serious? Did you just yes, laugh at me, ma'am? Serious? I mean, nowadays people can be famous from all walks of life. Why couldn't I? Why That's can't I be famous on Twitch? Point. I just find the conceit of a celebrity to be really harmful to society. It creates right. widespread feelings of inferiority. Also, fandom is the type Let's of thing that debate. triggers emotional dependency. Yes, but fame can actually be a great thing. Sure it can. There are loads of superficial benefits to it. Yes, there are those, but there's more than that. Like, celebrities can provide inspiration to their fans, some of whom may really need it. Okay. Let's pull back from the effect your fame would have on others. Why do you want to be famous? Am I getting because, slight treatment now? Uh, <laughs> can I only pick one money, thing? Why not? We only have a finite <laughs> amount of time, Ryan. I can't really look beyond the money. I think fame is just a springboard to get to a higher tax bracket. Fair enough. I totally understand why that's a key motivator for most people. I but should have chose the other one. I thought that. Studying. I hate I it when they give me like the, what I implied, but that's the timing. My greatest motivator. Hold on here. Let me see if I can change that. Because I could in five dates. Aha! Uh -huh, there it is. All right, cool. Now we got it. All right, so now I don't have to rush. I want to be an expert in the field. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Sir! So how do you fancy spending the final minute? Why not leave that to Professor Von Nossel? Oh, again? no. Let's get a takeaway uh, from the end of the book. All right, fine. People only care about the end of the book. I want the answers. All right. Right now. Come on. I'm ready. Idle words from the book. Everything is transient. Time, life, relationships, none belong to us. Only our purpose does. Around it, all else is determined. So... What the fuck does that the mean? right things will enter the orbit that we create around ourselves. Is that what that means? Exactly. Every decision we make affects who's pulled into that orbit, whether we know it or not. The quote is actually really relevant to my life. I'm finally focusing on my orbit and mine alone. Your orbit. Thanks for listening. No problem. I'm glad to hear you're doing that. You have a nice day, ma'am. That's your lot. Ladies and gents, time's up. Let's be moving on. Well, um, it was great meeting you. Yeah, you too. You have a nice day, ma'am. Uh, have a good evening. See ya. Damn. <laughs> that did not end very well. <laughs> I'm not sure if, uh... Yeah. Three martinis later. Brandy, rise and grind. Hello, ma'am. Hi there. Uh, uh, I'm Ryan. Hey! I said? Is that the girl from Five Dates? The one who, who, who liked to party all the time? I'm Brandy. What do you do for a living? I am a creative freelancer. Huh. Is it tough not knowing where your next paycheck is coming from? No. no. Um, I love what I do, and I'm, I'm working towards stability. I get that. I'm a beautician, but it doesn't earn me what I want, so I'm doing an online course in international relations, and I trade cryptocurrency. I just sold an NFT, actually. Non-fungible. You go, girl. Nice. Yeah, the digital art market is very cool, very new, and very volatile. <laughs> Sorry if I'm quite direct about things. We just don't have a lot of time. Sure. Um, can what I... are you looking for? Um, okay, that is a relationship? big question. Important question. Ultimately, I think I want to find a partner, and I just want to settle. Uh, no, 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 I want to settle down. 
I didn't mean, and no, I'm not saying that, it's not that nothing to do with I'm saying that I want to say. In my experience, guys who openly want relationships have been needy. They get over familiar too soon, want my attention all the time, get upset when I don't message. It's a whole thing. Hmm. Do I want to defend or do I want to challenge? I say defend. <laughs> Damn, no, ghouls. I can't speak for the guys in your past, but I don't think it's needy to know what I want. And I don't do any of those things that you said, by the way. I she could be just putting up a wall. We'll see. So, um, do you live locally? Yeah, I bought a one bed up the road. It's top floor with an amazing view of the water. You bought a penthouse. That NFT was pretty valuable. Mm. Where do you live? I live 10 minutes away. Um, I live on my own as well. Flat? Yeah. Buy it or rent it? Back to the quick buy round. Uh, I'm gonna go with rent for now. A lot. Yeah, we are. So? Renting, but I have been there for a while, so I feel settled. Like, it feels like home, so, so I like it. Yeah, I mean, that's all that matters at the end of the day. This is your three minute warning, guys. Sir, calm yourself. Just I don't want to hear the halfway point. A lovely conversation. This guy is so okay, annoying. Okay, let's move on to Arn Affairs. Do you like holidays? I do. Where do you go? What sort of holidays do you take? What kind are you into, though? Uh, uh, I asked you I first, ma'am. Go for it. Uh, well, I said I like to travel, so I'll just say abroad. You can't beat a beach holiday for a bit of or and or. Very true. Vitamin D is essential for our well-being. Do you want a Speedos guy, though? No, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't let Big Jim and the Twins hang out here. Won't ask why. I, I could only afford to travel recently, so I've got a lot of places on my list. Well, what's what's the top of the list? There's more than one thing. Uh, cruise Ew. to Blackness Ew. Islands. Ew. Meet the sloths and turtles in Costa Rica. See the iguanas. Right, we'll keep listening. In Brazil and Argentina. I'm not gonna be rude, okay, but yeah, she seems a little into you know, herself, so doesn't she? Yeah, but I, and seeing new cultures as well. Like, it's amazing to go to new places and see the different people and all the places that you're in operate on a mm. daily basis. So, have you been traveling alone? I like doing things my way. Do you never get bored? Or lonely, like having to go to dinner on your own all the time? <laughs> well, I've got my phone or tablet for entertainment and talking to people, but um, if I want less screen time, Ah, uh, <laughs> nice. Oh, we can I play some poker. <laughs> I mean, I, I picked this one up ages ago. I think it's got, I don't know, an extra king in there somewhere. An extra king? Uh, that might come in handy. Yeah, yeah. throw that up Depends your sleeve. On the game. Okay, next question. Does body count matter? Oh. Does Holy moly. Body I count? was not expecting that question. Well, you were getting too smug, so. What do you think? What do I... Does body... What the fuck does she mean by body count? Uh, no? No, not for me. I, you know, just so long as someone's past doesn't affect their present too much. So, you know, the body count it would not be an issue. Okay. So you're open-minded. That's oh, cool. Oh, I see. You're trying to tell oh, me okay. something, though. See, yeah. I didn't know what that was. I didn't know. One minute Damn. Time, just I am so far removed from the dating scene. Very soon. So, how did my questions make you feel? There's a customer satisfaction survey. Oh, Your shit. Is greatly valued. Let's go and with uh, well. fun. I mean, that's good. Let's be upbeat about yeah, it this. Was, it was fun. I didn't really feel like we felt like strangers. You? The answer isn't part of the survey, sadly. But she, she, she seems kind of happy, though. Okay. I think she I thinks I'm cute. Okay. Okay. I am a sexy and bitch. Your time is up. Thank you, ladies and gents. Lads, Sir, if you don't shut table, up. Your date is awaiting. Oh. But are you disappointed? Only because I had more questions. Oh, we can go on a different... Would you uh, like my social media handle? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Hook it or up. I, can use mine. I never message first. At the Brandy Baby Girl. Brandy Baby Girl. See you later, Ryan. Goodbye, Brandy. You better be writing that shit down. I forget it the minute I left the table. <laughs> I'm terrible at names. Yeah, see, she she seemed interested. 
Holy shit, I got a tall beer this time. Tony, warming up. Is this our goth girl? Oh no, this isn't our goth girl. Whoa! Calm down, girl. Oh, hi, yeah. <laughs> you my date now? Yeah, yeah, I guess I am. I'm, I'm Ryan. Tony, nice to meet ya. Sorry, I've got a match tomorrow, so I've got to keep limber. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Um, <laughs> and you're drinking a beer. Match? Do you play locally? No, it's my job, actually. I'm a footballer. Oh, shit. Should you be out dating the night before a match? Oh, don't worry. It's fine. I'm more worried about her beer. Well. Don't drink. Non alcoholic. Oh, okay. There we go. And don't have sex. Uh, what's your position? Reverse cowgirl. Nice. No, that's um, how we go. Football position. Reverse what cowgirl. <laughs> what? What's, that's a tough one. Well, Isn't it a position in soccer? The pitch. I'll narrow it down for you. I'm not tall enough to be a goalkeeper. I am a keeper in other ways, though. Uh, attacker. <laughs> I reckon that you are pretty skillful, so I'm gonna say that you're up front. What you think? I want all the glory. Yes. Here you go. Yes. As a matter well, of fact, that's I do. A bit of a conclusion to jump to. I'm a defender. It's not all about goals and skills. I have you know. Defense is just as important. You don't really win games without that, do you? Well, you do. If you've got a shit defense, how are you gonna win the game? Yeah, if you say so. <laughs> Do you like sports yourself? Yes. Hell yeah, I do. Football, rugby, tennis, basketball, golf. I, I watch absolutely anything. Well, she yeah, said she was a footballer, so watch what watch you're it, saying. Even if you don't know anything about it. Yeah, I'll pick it up as I go along. It's like watching the Olympics, isn't it? Where you become an expert in like some random... Oh, yeah, so we got the music going. Yeah, so evidently it looks like the game wants us to... For those two weeks. <laughs> to talk okay. here. Uh-oh. It's not your phone. Is, is this reminding me to carb load tomorrow? What do you have in pasta? Footballer's best friend. <laughs> this is your halfway warning, guys. That is three minutes to go. Three so, minutes to go. Um, how did you become a pro? I'd say my key influence was my dad. He used to take me to practices, to matches. He knew I fell in love with it and did everything to cultivate my passion. The kit, the traveling, consoling me after bad performances. <laughs> Are you close with your parents? No, no, I wanted to ask you more. We ain't got time, right, lad? Uh, if both. You want to, of course. Yeah, I'm just... I'm lucky to have a great relationship with both my parents. Um, they're both great. Yeah, they're like, they have a great relationship, and they're kind of like a blueprint for the sort of person I want to be, and the sort of partner I want to be with. That's amazing. It's so hard to find people talk about both parents like that. Yeah, God. Good parenting is definitely important. It is. Let's see how competitive you are. Do you fancy a quick challenge? Obviously. Fancy a test of strength. I chuck weights around like toys. Oh, here we go. Okay. We're going to arm wrestle, aren't we? Talk. How about we do an arm wrestle? Yep, right. I knew it. We're going to do an arm wrestle. No, I'm kidding. Nah, go on. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's fucking mean it. Your game. Arm Get wrestle time. Table, lad. Okay. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh damn! Go, dude. Go you better learn how to weight lift, bro. <laughs> I'm just desperate. <laughs> oh, I'm irresistible. <laughs> dude, are you really? You got more than that. Come on, come on. <laughs> Let her win. You proved your point. Let her win. <laughs> Shit. I really thought I was winning I that. See, at that I point, I would have known. I would have beat her, and I just let her win. Look, I confess. That's what a gentleman. Some arm days in the gym, so. <sighs> Makes me feel a bit better. Still gutted, though. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Ooh, we're in stoppage time. <laughs> what? Football's the best sport for making analogies. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you fancy another quick challenge? Yes, yes. But what do you want to do? Well, there's conversation starters and riddles, apparently. Convenient. Okay. All right, better make this shit quick. A man looks at a painting and says, Brothers and sisters, I have none, but that man's father is my father's son. Who's in the painting, the man or his son? But that man's father. Brothers and sisters, I have none. That man's father. Shit, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys say? The man or the man's son? Help me out, guys. What, what should I what should I put in there? 
The man. All right, so let's, let's try the man. Father's son. It is the man himself. That's what I was going to say, but a draw is no fun. I'll say man's son. But how do we find the answer? Oh, is it? It's folded in. Okay. More thoughts gone into this event than I gave it credit for. The man's son. Get in. Son of a bitch. God's sake. Oh. You only got that All right, you goals. Your you did, Time you out. Time out well. yourself. Uh, a win's a win, right? No matter how you get it, eh? And that everybody, time, everyone. Ghouls has been placed on timeout. She got day. the wrong answer. We crammed a lot into that. Yes, we did. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was great to meet you, Tony. <laughs> Is that short for Antonia? It's but um, but everyone calls me Tony. Do you want to keep in touch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's your handle? At TN7. Oh, Tony shit. shit! How am I supposed to remember all this shit? Character shit right there. Okay, bitch. I will not. Good night, Tony. This is... My God, I'm drinking like a fucking lush. Jesus. Oh, here we go. There's our graph girl. Can't wait for this one. All right, let's do this. All right, you, got, you see your number. I'm ready. Sorry, just fixing my eyeliner. What's up? I'm Ryan. You don't look like a Ryan. No. Well, what do I look like then? Not sure yet. Get That's the... not from here, is it? No. No. You're gonna snitch? No. <laughs> I made it. Did you so, sacrifice something yeah. before you came here, ma'am? Just That's the, uh, thought I'd throw it out there. Drink, isn't it? Exactly. Looks good. Let's try it some. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Looks good. Are you happy with the batch? Very. Tell you more about it, but we haven't got much time. <laughs> so, the kombucha is homemade. The goblet is homemade. What else is homemade? I'd say 90% of this. The clothes, the accessories, you make it all from scratch. How many belts you got on there, ma'am? Online during lockdown and it grew into a full time business. Oh, sweet. So she's, she does really the same thing job. roughly Thanks. I do. Turns out my aesthetic plays quite well these days. She's just what into um, a little Without bit of the terms, uh, kind and devil. <laughs> um, so learn about le learn more about the job. Is it just you in the business, or yeah, don't need anyone else. So Maybe uh, uh, the demand. You it's a long Satan? wait list, but I engage with my customers a lot on social media, so they're understanding. So if the supply is low, you must be retailing for. Very high price? No, I pride myself in affordability and sustainability. Is that enough to do full time? <laughs> no, no, I'm, uh, sorry, no, I'm not, I'm not asking how much you earn. I just find the business model very interesting. I get by. Okay. Do I look like a Ryan yet? Not quite. All right then. <laughs> I think we're getting somewhere. Well then, um, what else can you tell about me? You definitely give me water sign vibes. Water you sign? Seem quite sentimental and sensitive. At times. What gives you that impression? The fact that you were just triggered by the word sensitive. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, just man. Three minutes Can you go, apologize for that? I mean. <laughs> and I go very quickly, very quickly. You're really into your astrology then? It gives me structure. I analyze my behavior in the context of something bigger. My main star sign is Scorpio, which I think really suits me. Let's engage. <laughs> I and, want to see um, what this girl's all about. Based on when and where I was born, my rising sign is. I really like her name. And my moon sign is Libra. What's the difference be between those three? Your main star sign is your sun sign. Represents sort of your desires in life, and your rising sign is how you present to others. And moon signs what you like deep down. Okay, I, I don't I don't really know about the other two. So. <laughs> Work them out for you. <laughs> we haven't got much time. So, <laughs> so then. What makes your sun sign so Scorpio? We aspire to be <laughs> nice. brave, loyal, honest. Negatives? Jealous and secretive. This lady's cracking me up. Do you relate to them as animals? Like I said, I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out her accessories because she's like got like 10 belts on. Uh, she's got the star or the, the uh, satanic star on her left breast. She's got, if you look at her close at her eye, she has an upside down cross. So I'm just saying. 
<laughs> well, well, ghouls, I mean, what are you into? <laughs> are they really aggressive? Anyone threatened? But don't they eat each other, though? Yeah. I just like the number on the table. Six, six, six. <laughs> and this is your final minute, guys. Final minute. Uh, so, I was wondering... No, um, I've spoken about myself enough. I want to know more about you. Oh, yeah. We need to get... We, we need to know more about this. It really hasn't, so I want to know more What's about What's your type? You. Fine, <laughs> Do you like... Do you like... <laughs> What's your type? Paper. Oh, my God. Translucent skin. Ill looking. Hates the sun. Allergic to garlic. That's the thing. That's the type I've always gone for. They suck. I see what you did there. Uh, anyway, what's yours? I would say that I'm fairly open-minded. Um, I'm on. down. Everyone has an instinctive type. Well, I hope this doesn't freak you out. If I say that my type is something a little bit like... You? You. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we got three. Um, this is specifically this well no no it's nothing this. to do with the way you look exactly um i'd say it's more to do with the way you'd like to do things outside of the box i think that is very interesting and i think it's very attractive you like this thank you Ryan. totally freaked me out though you weirdo <laughs> <laughs> that's your lot ladies and gents time's up let's be moving on no, I'm not done with the, um, Satan here. Kind of interaction. I mean, Azalea, or right, wh whatever her name yeah, is. Uh, yeah, done. What's your, uh, what? what is your handle? Yeah. I'd love to check some of your stuff out. At Azalea Shadows. A -Z -A there, Azalea, not Satan. Azalea. That's her name. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See you later, Azalea. Expect the unexpected. Alright, here we go. What is this? Or is this the end of the round? What's up? 808. No, 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 no. I don't want to be talking to you, sir. You annoyed me. Good evening. I'm Derek. Evening host. Hello, Derek. Am I in trouble? <laughs> no, no, no. But, Put your uh, mic down, unfortunately, bro. Unfortunately, the lady that was sat at this table, she had to leave early. I'm sorry. Uh, right. right. So are you filling in for her? Did she pull a runner when she saw me? No, nothing of the sort. She uh, is a musician. Had a gig to get to. Well, that is pretty fair. That's a good alibi. How did the rest of them go? Find you know, <laughs> Oh, is she the last one? Yeah. Well, I'm... Kinda of glad about that because I don't really know how many more I had left in me. Well, I'm sure you made a fantastic impression. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna go with I think I found something because there's two I was interested in. Yeah, I have met some great women. They are all very different. So you have given me a really tough call to make. Oh, well, that's what we like to hear. Yeah. What a great dilemma to have. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't really know how they feel about me, but I guess we'll find out. You know out what I'd like to do right now? We will. <laughs> there, so, sir. Can you give it away now? How long have you been hosting? <laughs> I have lots of hosting experience, but specifically the speed deck and stuff, just at the beginning of lockdown. So those were digital, I presume? Mm-hmm. Correct. For me, finding love is the most formative journey of our lives, and I just wanted to help people continue that journey, despite the circumstances. Having said that, there is no real substitute for meeting someone special in person. It's I think so too. Have you ever had any marriages develop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had a couple. Uh, even a couple of babies named after me. Yeah. <laughs> Need to put it in my bio. Pregnancy facilitator, Derek. Yeah, you won't. yeah he's... Uh, <laughs> that sounds like something he's he's that definitely throwing the vibes there. Holiday. <laughs> the stag do t-shirts. You're right. Okay. I actually think I've seen them before. I sell like hotcakes, though, right? <laughs> so how did you hear about us? I was duped into coming here this evening. I thought I was going out for a drink with my best mate, Misha, and here I am. Uh, she's actually somewhere here. She's on a date somewhere, I don't know. But... Well, I, I love a strong male-female friendship. Do you prefer the company of women or men? Come again? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll rephrase. Um, Who do you feel like you naturally engage with more easily? Uh, you need to be more specific, sir. Now, dating, probably women. No, I can get along with anybody. But if we're here to date, I'm going to choose a woman. 
I have always found it easier to fit in with women. I think I'm just more comfortable sharing my thoughts and experiences with I'm them. I'm just saying. No, it's not that I'm, I'm uncomfortable to be mean. talking to men. Oh, no, of course not. I mean, we're chatting freely, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> like two bros. Shit. You are halfway, guys. Oh, my halfway. God, sir. Now you got to be annoying at my table? Don't tell anyone I forgot. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> So tell me, what is the best way to approach all of this? Well, aside from being yourself. Well, let me rephrase that. Do you have any less crap advice? No, I don't. Sorry. The thing is, there's so many different types of personalities in here. One person's poison might be another see, person's I, paradise. See, I think that all the yeah, other contestants no, would point. see okay, him you this. as cheating. You for because I'm, here I am talking to the host. Is, that may decide what kind of energy you want to exude yourself. They're both are brilliant, but markedly different. Let's go with Lively. I definitely want someone who is dynamic and a lively personality to just spice up my life. Mm. <laughs> we Not want someone that. spicy. No. Because that can just be a whole different thing. It can get toxic. Um, although, there's no harm in me being put in my place from time to time. No? Crack of the whip. I never said I was into that. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I, I, I just look at it as I mean. Has hosting these made you an well, expert? Well, yeah, maybe you're right. In romance, what like some kind of love guru? No, <laughs> no, no. Come on, you must have more insight than the average guy. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, has it ever helped in your personal life? Sadly, no. No, I, it's still very single. Why did you have someone in mind for me? Yeah, Misha. She would love to meet you. She's here. I can introduce you. Um, I'm sure Mish is fab, but I won't be interested. He's gay. He's a bit mean. What's wrong with her? Well, Nothing is wrong with her. Uh huh. He likes dudes. You didn't get the point. Yeah. Sorry. Um. No. 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 I shouldn't have. My bad. You're fine. I was being dumb. Fine. Anyway. Um. Real shame that the the event's nearly over. Yeah, it is. You know, back in the day, you would have to meet people. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you were going out or. I think I could do a better work, job than that guy. He was just chance. annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just wondering, did you have any feedback for us? The host is too well dressed. Oh. <laughs> I mean, look, come on, you were putting the rest of us to uh... shame. <laughs> Uh, aside from that, let's try. Um, mm, more options? No, no, no. That means more girls. Okay, so different location. The location seemed like it. Well, part bar, part homeless shelter. Is that what this is? I mean, it looks pretty. Or maybe AA meeting place. You got the weird little posters on the wall. Ah. <sighs> Uh, yeah, let's just choose different The location. venue is, uh, well, it's a little bit uninspiring. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess, guess it looks cool. I mean, he's got the, was that a velvet but sport coat? If the event's grow in popularity, then more people will come, budgets will grow, we'll be in the Ritz. Well, look, that being said, you do have the most important thing down, which is an interesting group of people, so... Save the Ritz for now. I don't think they let me in. Yeah, no. That is your final minute, guys. Final minute. So, mm. tell me, who did you meet tonight? Oh, I met a goth chick, and I met a girl obsessed with herself, and I met another girl who likes to have her nose in a book. I met Tony, and I met Brandy. Oh, Derek. I don't suppose you could give me any intel. Just, Ryan, there's no way that I could... Do that. There Nothing is. personal. Just, you know, just give me a read. Look at that, bro. All your experience. As a friend. I guess I could do a read. Who in particular? Oh, God, I guess we only have time for one. Um, uh, I want to learn more about uh, Azalea. <laughs> she has me intrigued. Okay. Tell me about Azalea. Mm. Well, I love her style, love her aura. I think she has a really strong sense of her own identity and is really passionate about her interests and is looking for someone who can match that kind of energy. That is very perceptive. Thank you, Derek. I'm good. 
you are very good. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was okay. up like two minutes ago, dude. That, unfortunately, ladies and gents, is the end of tonight's event. Everyone get home safely. I've been Derek, and thanks for coming. All right, deuces, Derek. What can I say? Thank you again, Derek. <laughs> I can you keep me company because I would have been sat here like a melon otherwise. <laughs> no, you're welcome. I hope you had fun. And yeah, I guess I'll see you around. Alrighty then. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well... Uh, I think I'm going to have to after that. Azalea. Mm. Yeah, she was something else. She brought her own kombucha. She had her own goblet that she brought. Goblet? Yeah, with a crow on it. It's just badass. But it was really interesting, because it wasn't like any of the other dates I went on. I want to bring my was own the goblet. Was chemistry of a kombucha? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say there was a little bit of chemistry, yeah. I could see it going somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, and an absolutely nuts thing happened. I was supposed to be meeting um, for this day this musician, but she bailed. Mm -hmm. And then, do you remember the host? Yeah. Yeah, Derek is his name. So I was sitting there, and he came up and told me about um, the girl who had to leave. And then we sat down, we just started talking. You and Derek! <laughs> yeah, oh my God, yeah, he's I just. Love that. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you, you saw plenty of him as well. He's just, he's, yeah, he's a cool guy. He's very suave. Is that very chemistry suave. With Derek? Uh, chemistry? No. It was just. He was a sound fella, and it was good of him to talk to me. Otherwise, I wasn't just been sitting there. <laughs> yeah, no, but he was—he was a good dude. Oh. There was Kathleen, who was a PhD student studying psychology. She was very. She was reading on our oh. date. She was just very smart. It was a little bit intimidating. Do you think there'll be more from Kathleen? No, I don't think so. I don't think I quite reached her standards in terms of what's going on between my my ears. <laughs> but I just don't see it happening. Well, you won't be for everyone. There was Brandy. Let me tell you about Brandy. My God. She was a... She would put you to shame the amount of work she would do. She is a crypto trading beautician. And she's studying as well. Wow, what a combination. I don't even know how she finds the time to do all of it. Was there a spa? Yeah, yeah, yeah there was. I, no, I liked her. She's, um... She, she, she'd make you raise your, raise your game, you know? And your game needs to be raised. Well, so you keep telling me. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. now let me tell you about Tony. She's a football player. Wow. Oh, yes, Tony. Wow. She was just quite laid back. And the reverse cowgirl girl. Sort of person who was like, give as good as you can get, you know? That sounds fun. Do you think there might be a future with the footballer? I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but yeah, I could. I, I'd, lo I'd love to see her again. Aww. So, what's the next move? I don't really know. I kind of have a few options, so... Oh, Mr. Popular. Yeah, well, you know, what can I say? Um, I guess I just need to think about it a little bit. And see where I go from there. Yeah. Proud of you. Peace. All right, what do we got here? What's next? All right, select... Oh, I, I get to select two. So, um, uh, I hate to tell you this, but, um, okay. So, oh, damn. Well, definitely her. Okay. She's not satanic in that folder or in that picture. Excuse me. Is that, what, what, what is that? Is that a dead snake? Good Lord. Okay. Okay, I like that picture. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. All right. That's for a second date. All right. Yep. She's she, she's number one, and then let's go with. Uh, I, I'm curious about this girl too. Beautician. Okay. Ooh, that look that looks kind of tasty, but whatever whatever it is. Is that oysters and eh, don't know. <laughs> All right. So we got a nice beach. All right. Let's go with that. All right. So we so we got two. Ready to rumble. Hey. 
What did I say about that phrase? Okay, so now we're going on a date. Hey, what? What is up? Oh, she's got a skull jacket on today. And we got a hug. Thank you. Immediately. Sorry. Here I am in a grandpa sweater and she's all like ready to go goth. It's okay. Um, I actually thought that I was the early one for once. Have you had many orders to process this week? Lots. Plus, um, a celebrity client requested a piece. I turned it down. Why? That's a great coup, surely. They demanded to skip the queue. I owe too much to my core clients to drop them for an impatient prima donna. Ooh. Anyways, Mercury is in retrograde, so hassle was expected. Tell me about your week. So, um, Mercury in retrograde? Yeah. What about it? I have heard of it. But I don't, I don't really know much actually about it. It's an optical illusion where the planet Mercury appears to move backwards in the sky. It happens three or four times a year. And it basically just messes with technology and life. <laughs> I can't say that I've noticed too much disruption to my life. <laughs> Aside from me entering it. So, uh, do you want to mm -hmm. drink? Love a drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. got those crazy eyes, guys. I think she's undressing me with her eyes. What is going on there, girl? Do you know what I've just realized? Speed dating is great because you jump straight into the face-to-face -face so it eliminates any possibility of false advertising. Mostly. I am a saleswoman, though. Oh, so you're a good liar. Well, we put that to the test. Let's play a quick game of two truths and a lot. I'm doing that in years. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll go first. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I can speak three languages. My cousin was my prom date because nobody asked me. And growing up, I had a guinea pig called Chuckles, which is the lie. That is quite uh, a I'm gonna spread. say the languages. Uh, I don't know which one I want to be the lie. Um, Let me see, I'm saying the languages. The languages is a lie. I think you have a mastery over the English language, so you don't need another one. Ha! Wrong. Ah, Fuck! Shit! You're a linguist. English Mandarin and Elvish. The prom date's a lie. I went with my best mate, Danny, and um, we had the best time out with everyone. So, no drama, just good vibes. Exactly. Danny was the best boy at school. <laughs> Should I be worried about Danny? <laughs> He's gay as Christmas. Your turn. He's gay as... Did you see? I have a third He's nipple. gay as Christmas or I gay have climbed at Christmas? Mount Kilimanjaro. I am a king fisherman. Tough ones. The nipple is the lie. <laughs> did he say something about his nipple? I just can't see it. Are you imagining me topless just there? Purely for the purposes of the game. Don't flatter yourself. You I'm gonna say correct, ma'am. <laughs> I am a dual nippled man. I'm really impressed the Kilimanjaro one's true. Mm. <laughs> it takes so much to achieve those physically and, you know, mentally. The mummy beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just an amazing life experience. Um, uh, the fishing one is also true. Let's not talk about that. Okay. Round mm. two. Go for it. Okay. I need to get something right. My parents met on the set of a porn film. Nice. My real name isn't Azalea. My body count is more than 20. Fuck! Is there one you want to be the line? I'm thinking... Uh, I'm gonna go with okay. body count. Very carefully. Women don't really like to admit how many... The... Lovers. Body count one is the lie. Correct. Wait. Boom! Does that mean your name isn't really Azalea? I'll explain another time. I've gone by Azalea for... A decade now. Wait. Wait again. Does that mean that your parents met on a porno set? Oh! <laughs> They weren't starring in it. They didn't exist. Uh, then what were they doing at a porn um, movie? So basically, my mum was a makeup artist. What did she make and up? My dad owned the studio that it was being filmed in. <laughs> so, as a makeup artist on a porno set, does that. What does that entail? I haven't really got into that conversation with my mum. I don't. Wow, I have now it. heard it all. <laughs> Your turn. How would you like to be a makeup artist I in have a porno movie? Octophobia, which is a fear of our I need 10 hours sleep a night. I collect novelty coasters. The coasters is the lie. It's the most boring. 
Incorrect, Mal. I'll be as interesting as you. Yawn. Was I right? Nope. Sorry, that one is true. I'm chuffed. I was actually bluffing. I collect pictures I collect of pornos myself. on my coasters. Oh. <laughs> Small, handcrafted Maybe ones. your parents are on Recently it. got this amazing cuckoo clock from Freiburg in Germany. Cool, well, we'll have to uh, compare a collection sometime. <laughs> I'd love that. This girl cracks so, me up, um, man. Sultophobia, the line? Well, there's only one way to find out. Just share the number. I want to go about this by legitimate means. Uh, correct. Bingo. Good. That would be um, an inconvenient phobia to live with. <laughs> so, ten hours is true. <laughs> wow. I work at night, so I have a regular sleep patterns. Well, we have to work something out. <laughs> a lot of accommodating to do. Anyways, uh -oh. I was a junior clay pigeon shooting champion. That's true. Mm, I have more piercings that can't be seen than can. True. And I'm allergic to bullshit. True. Is this a trick one? All right, piercings, I shoot. Talking about. All right, I'm gonna go with shooting. Shooting is the lie. The clay pigeon shooting one is the lie. I I can't really see you being into guns. Correct. I'm totally anti-guns. However, uh, as a kid, I was forced into clay pigeon shooting, and I was a phenomenal shot. Well, that sounds like well, an shit. Wait, so which one's the lie? The piercings. The piercings. As much as it may surprise you. Did you... um? Have some good mental images, though. No, Maybe. No, no, I didn't even. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, no, I did. No, um, no, no. Can I loop back to the fact that your name is actually Azalea? I'm not a habitual liar. I promise. Just ask me anything. You're deflecting. <sighs> I said I'd explain another time. Yeah, uh, we're not gonna get into politics. Plenty more to learn about me, anyway. Hey, Jimsy, how's it going? I want to know what you are really passionate about, Azalea. Good one. Doesn't get asked enough. Um, I've dabbled in all sorts. So. Hey, Jemsey, did you get um, did you get my picture I sent you over um, over Twitter? So, whilst my business is what I enjoy at the moment, I know it won't last forever. You get bored easily? No, it's just I'm still searching for my true passion. Yeah, no, I get that. Well, I. Hope you find it soon. Thanks. So... Lad! Where are ya? Why did you get that drunk in a place like this? Whoa, sir! What the hell? Sorry, love. Looks like you could use a bit of extra colour on that Halloween costume. <laughs> sir! That was... Bullshit. Oi! Prick! That's not on. Are you really gonna come at me like this? Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey! Listen to your boyfriend, Lady Dracula. Whoa! Suck him in the face. You've got a big mouth, haven't you? Uh, let's persist. Yeah, I'm very witty. Hey, Zaylee. Calm your boobies, guys. Back off. Calm up. Back up. Piss off. Zaylee, wait. Nailed it, babe. Wow, bruh. Okay, well, we don't. Maybe you should just let her handle herself. Because it was huge. I mean, I had to. Evidently, do we should have we should have let him brawl. I could try and talk her down a little bit, and maybe it would just diffuse the situation. But I, I don't know. Mm. She clearly wanted to do things her way. So. Oh, okay, Jimsy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got my I got my PC. Although got it almost all set up. Me, so. Yeah, most. Been people messing around with the last few days. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna say good night to you now because. Mm -hmm. You're just not helping me. Yep, she's right, up and good running. Night. Good night. I good just got to do some mods and do some testing to it, and uh, I should be able to hopefully test out streaming within the next week or so. so I'm looking late tonight, but I keep hearing she's a badass computer, cool. but I got to put her to the test soon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, so it's um, I seven nine seven five six seven double six zero. Got it. Right. What? Oh. Alrighty, well, we're just gonna casually walk up like we didn't hear shit. Hey, you are right? Yeah. yeah, 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 I'm not too bad. What's up? Were you ordering drinks from him? No. No, I was waiting for you. 
Mm, except. I wouldn't order for someone before they arrive. So he was asking for uh, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Probably definitely a horror game. Well, he doesn't sound we'll much of a chance, does he? Have you seen me? I've got to wait for a couple sales. <laughs> see what's I? going on. Yeah, but because he isn't my type. Not because you are. That wasn't my real number anyway. You lying? So, how's your week been? Bit of work, now a bit of dating. Yours? You should know how my week's been. I put it all on social media. Uh, you Damn. spotted my life. Man, this I girl like is just making it harder than drinks. hell. She's got one hell of a wall up. Will we get a drink? I will, I'll just have a tonic water. Hey. Hello? Hey, uh, could we get a tonic water please and a beer? Thank you. What kind of beer, sir? Sir, you got um, Guinness? My week has been standard as yours. Regular hours at the salon, after hours studying, and when I can, checking the crypto markets. Yeah, so I think she would have been much better. This, this lady's oh, starting God, to I'm get on my nerves. Oh, you weren't. She is super obsessed I, with herself. I'm having fun tonight. Whether you like it or not. Oh, so I we like have cards. What is a good two-player game? Uh, Poker. Something simple, like higher or lower, so we can still chat. I mean, we could make it more interesting, I guess. Oh, wow, that's the only way oh, I could shuffle decks. I was Points. terrible at shuffling. One for each correct guess. First person to get three ahead wins. Why am I noticing that you have made all of the rules since our speed date? Get used to it. <laughs> I'm a fair person, though, so I will give you a secret about myself for every correct guess. Oh. Fair. Now she's getting awful flirty. You go first. Is the next card higher or lower? Seven is a tricky one. Because there's a pretty even amount of cards higher and lower. I'm gonna go higher. Higher. You just love to see it. Secret, please. All right. Boom! That's secret. My love language is acts of service, and my favorite act is breakfast in bed. Noted. Really? But now you have an ace, the highest value card. Which means the next card is lower by default. Motherfucker. I guess lower. You cheat. My guess took more skill than that. So, yep, it did. So what, four is pretty low. Not the lowest, though. Uh, I'm going to go with higher again. Higher. It, 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 it has to be higher. No, it doesn't. Fuck! Oh, what, now you've got a two, the lowest value card. <laughs> Which means the next card is higher, <sighs> by default. I guess higher. She is so... Honestly, this is just some chair. You saw me shuffling. It's all about how the cards fall. This is a game more about luck than skill, isn't it? Yes. A tactical risk, too. I mean, are you a lucky person? Well, I feel lucky. I say luck comes in many forms. It does, but generally, <laughs> hey. you feel a lot. I got the clover on my side I now. I am a young man living in London with a roof over my head. I would say all of that is pretty good fortune but what about specifics what you've gotten versus what you wanted that's actually a pretty good way to calculate luck um, yeah it's rigged yeah I mean there's plenty of things that I wish I'd gotten you know a job or oh, I don't know like trivial things presents <laughs> what, what, what about you do you have any first world problems that you wish you had a first world problem with <laughs> plenty but they don't bother me. They're stupid. Your guess? Mm. What do we have? The last card was a nine. <sighs> I'm still lower, but All right. still got ten. Everybody in the chat, cards. am I going higher or am I going lower? Hmm. If it was me personally, I would have hit higher again. Just to fight the odds. Are we going higher or are we going lower? You guys choose. Give you about 20 seconds. Higher or lower? 
Higher. We're staying with higher. That's what I would stay with, too. All right. That is what we're going with. Higher. Boom! Boom! Yeah. Oh, um, I've always had a thing for teachers. Ever since school, I always had a crush on them. Even now, I think my international relations... Well, I teach... Um, Interesting. This education... That's a very uh, inspiring move by you. I'll follow. Higher. Come on. Come on, lower. Son of a bitch. A queen or a queen? This is a real underdog story. She is okay, definitely queen, cheating. Queen. It doesn't get much harder than that. It does. King. Why? All right. For this, I'm going lower. Lower. La, 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 lower. Boom! Mm. <laughs> Suck it! I am on a roll. Okay. I once threw my ex's games console out the window. Oh, the shit. You've been dumped right there. Girls. You do not touch my consoles, lady. Lower. Shit. She's cheating. Have you got them all right? I'm close. What can I say? You are enjoying that too much. <laughs> These instincts of yours must be pretty handy in the crypto market. They are, but I don't take risks. I respect money too much. I haven't always had it. Would you prefer to spend it on lifestyle things? And investments. I do love spending, but nurturing it is cool too. Yeah, I'm trying to think what my attitude is. I think balance is fairly important in this department. But if you had to choose okay, one side or the other. So she would probably like a saver. a saver. Although she did buy a bunch of shit. Me personally, I'm going to go with my personality. I am a spender, so. Well, you only live once. You know, while I've no responsibilities, Might as well have fun. I do want to enjoy what I earn. And that is... No, sorry. Even I know that's rude to ask. Let's finish the game. So this one should be easy. I'm going to go higher. Higher. Please, 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 please be higher. Oh! Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. I never kiss on the first date. Well, this is a second date. Lower. This is a second date. Oh, okay, Wendo, if you really back yourself, how about we make this interesting? Oh, yeah, she we definitely is. She's, no. she's mind fucking me I'm at this point. Out of the gutter. No. Winner takes all. Fine. I'm confident. You call it. Mm. <laughs> all right, guys, I need your help. Higher or lower? What are we going with? Best out of, uh, best out of three. Everybody get involved. Come on. All right, we got a higher. Come on, best out of three. Come on. Where are we going with? Higher or lower? All right, higher it is. That was the third. Higher. Boom! <laughs> oh, yeah! Okay, come on. Mm. Come on, give me my crap. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Suck it, girl. Thank you for a great game. It was it was really something. You put in a great effort. I don't lose. It pisses me off. Okay, look. Come you on. lost. It is character building. And this is the second fucking date. That You'll make this. Fine, you won fair and square. And you probably want the prize, too. No, no, no. I'm ready. You is more I'm ready. Yep, Stop. I'm going for Fine. a kiss. This is a second date. Pick something. Well, second date. I mean, if you had one, you I did want a kiss. You had, um, I would have offered you a congratulatory kiss. Oh, would this, you? Nope. Yeah. In your dreams. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I am appalled. I am very appalled. That was a really fun night. No, yeah. it wasn't. You yeah, cheated. It was. I'll give you most of the credit. It did all start with your game. 
I know. It yeah, that was her. That was not me. That <laughs> was her. You tell me you also had a great night. Yeah, I thought that that was implied. I'm not online. And you. if you didn't realize, you ma'am, this is a right? second date. I do. You can walk me to my door. I will. And don't let it hit you on a butt on the way out. Cheater. All right, I'm mad at that girl. So who's gonna get the third date? Hmm. No commentary, please. All right, so are He's we gonna smiling. go with Satan's little helper? Um, <laughs> or are we gonna go with a uh, girl that's obsessed oh. with herself? Although she she did tell me to piss off, uh, Satan's little helper was like uh, piss off because I simply broke up a fight. Oh, I only had one. Oh shit. Oh yeah, because we got told off, so I, I have no choices. Satan's little helper is no longer a choice. Hello, Brandy. Um, how are you? Very good. Uh, great to talk to you again. I had a blast the other night, and I was wondering if. You would be free sometime this week, maybe the weekend, um, to meet up again. Yeah? Okay, I will. Um, I will talk to you then. Okay, uh, bye, Brandy. Okay, bye, Brandy. Bye, Brandy. She's cool. She's cool. <laughs> I, I, was like trying, being cool. I was trying to be cool. You're so not cool. Ah, that's a funny shit. But you've got another date. I did get another date. Stronger than you, you know. Oh my god, bro. I'm telling you, man, these guys and their drinking problems. It causes gas. If you would just stick to Guinness, you'd be alright. Very private. Well, if I had to get the mood right. <laughs> what kind of food do they do? Well, this is a second. Uh, well, this is a third date, by the way. Very eclectic, as I'm sure you will see. They do a cheese fondue. Oh, yeah. yeah we have to get that. We're doing a yeah. cheese fondue. <laughs> yeah, if you want. Oh, my God. Do they do a chocolate one, too? I can go and ask. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. If I come back and you're talking to some dude... Oh, and you left your phone! Oh, shit. Why? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So we are in luck, but I do have just a teeny tiny bit of bad news. Yeah. There's no chocolate fun. She is being nosy. But I have ordered chocolate dipped straw. That's why when I have messages okay. and my phone's locked, oh, it just shows up tonight. message. But you are getting the VIP service. You can do that on your phones. I would do that. Ooh, damn, that does look good. Man, it's been quite a few years since I've had fondue. I would have never thought to order fondue. Well, I'm extra like that. I still remember the first time I had fondue. In a, in a Swiss skiing chalet overlooking a mountain range. That sounds like something out of a movie. <laughs> well, life's all about those moments. Do you have dream things that you want? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think everyone does. Mm. Like, even less materialistic people. Oh, let's share things of our dream lives. Sounds fun. Okay, let's start with the dream car. Go. Mm, I don't know much, but sports cars are always sexy. You know, fresh interior, leather seats with a bright trim. I would and go I with American Muscle myself. Wait. You even know it down to the trim, eh? Oh, well, yeah, I have <laughs> goals, Ryan. In this. Uh, I guess a sports car is my only choice. I want a sports car too, but it has to be fast. I wanted to have the butterfly wing doors at They're called suicide doors, not butterfly. We could race each other. Uh, I'm not so much about This guy speed. definitely does not it's know his cars. That is just because you're afraid to lose. Don't start because I'll get competitive. What's Sarah you saying? Win. You're so annoying. You do know I'd win though. No, I win. <laughs> what do you mean? You mean you mean the girl on the uh the on the phone? If, if, you're, if you're talking about the girl on the phone, she was saying something like uh, he didn't pay his rent and he needs to send it by tomorrow. I always win. 
explain? I do believe that. So she yeah. she was looking yeah. at his phone, and it said that his payment didn't right. go through. Next question. What would be your dream home, architecture-wise and where? That's important because you don't want a shit view. I'm gonna go with uh, my dream home. Would be a mansion. Uh, well, since the pandemic. I think I just want space, so I want a mansion out in the countryside. I want to have a lot of rooms, um, big garden, uh, tennis court, swimming pool. Outdoor or indoor? Screw it, it's yeah, a dream. Indoor. Let's have both. Okay. Uh, let's chuck in a spa while we're at it, uh, and a cinema as well. A spa? Dinner's room, poker table. Did he say spa? Bar area. Uh, yeah, well, we, look, we could go on forever. <laughs> <laughs> we could. But I don't know, I like being high up, you know, living a high life. I'm just a sucker for a good view. Well, you can come out to my mansion on the weekends. Okay. Yeah? Deal. Visiting rights. I'm happy with that. All right, <laughs> let's dive a little bit deeper. What is your dream partner like? For the game. Oh, the game. yeah. Let's, let's bring the lights the down music. low and get to the porno music. I want a man who looks after himself and dresses well, but... Mainly someone who's ambitious and driven, who respects my hustle, but has their own. Power couple? Mm. But the success isn't as important as the mindset. It's, you know, we've just always got to be pushing for more together. What about you? And don't steal my answer. Or do. <laughs> I want a brunette <laughs> with brown eyes um... and a red shirt on with a nice necklace and some funky lipstick with some earrings and uh, uh, what else we got here yeah I'll just go with that <laughs> hey what's up Prince of Crime <laughs> uh, let me pick someone like you I would actually say that it is someone a little bit like you Oh, piss off. I am serious. You're a catch. You are talented, oh, yeah. you are driven, you're Whoops. very giving. Any guy would be lucky to be with you. And as a just a tiny little bonus, you, you're also beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> How did you turn something so cheesy into something so sweet? Oh, well, you could just call me a cheeser. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay, uh, let's pivot. What is your dream personal project? Mm. You. If money didn't matter anymore, I'd get into politics. So I'm a proper techie, so I would love to develop something that would actually change the world. I have always hated the hard. Oh, you mean like a streamer? That forms the spout of the tube. So in order to combat it, I was. Oh, hey, it's not that shit an idea. Whoa, what the fuck's going on with her? Sorry, what? You, you just like oh shit she zoned, zoned the there. fuck out I'm sorry if I've come across as materialistic crying see I've come from worse than nothing I arrived in the UK legally in a lorry as an asylum seeker I was seven all alone and couldn't speak any English it made things like School and social care are really difficult, but eventually I See, I told you. She was putting up a big I, old wall, I, and then once you got it to come, come down a little so bit. No, no, not at all. Do you remember much of your old life? Well, my home country suffered lots of civil violence, so the economy was awful. See, now I'm starting <laughs> to like her more. Off. Her personality is starting to come week, up. Two normal ones, and... One sweet one. She saved all her money for a lorry trip across the channel, but it was only enough for one person. So she sent me. You didn't have phones or anything? You, you couldn't contact her? No. I haven't heard from her since. I don't even know if she's alive. Damn, that's but... rough. <laughs> I'm visiting the region next month to try and find her. I want to make the most Damn, this, of my this opportunity went, but just, in this country. This totally fucking turned 360. I'm one of the lucky ones. 
is looks like she's about ready to cry. Short for like, something. Shit. Bishma. Yeah. It means beautiful. Man, she's mad, but her real personality's coming out. Here is to you, Bishma. Thank you. All right, we touch chickens. At least I think that's chicken. Or is that to did it, oh, is that tofu? All right, so we touch tofu. You know, I like hot weather. I like tanning. Can be for lunch. I could be reading my magazine on the beach. What are you reading? Keeping okay. up with what's going on in the world. You know, I want to. I think we did good. Oh yeah, now we got dessert. Oh yeah, she's giving me the strawberry so look. Plan for the coming days. She's giving me the kiss look. She wants. She wants it. What? Uh, the grind just does not stop with you, does it? I don't think it's a bad thing to prioritize your work life if it makes you happy. Exactly. What if I could become partner in streaming, work or I would be fine. Socializing or something else. Uh, look life. I am really focused on finding a partner. Damn it. All right. Well, that sounded fucking you don't bad. You need a woman to make you happy. These days, people force love so much, they actually end up... No, I sound like I'm way. desperate. Do you think that dating is forcing it? I think regular dating takes a magic away for sure. Like, I wouldn't do that speed dating event again. I think this is the whole point of the game, to find a love life. Inauthentic. Yeah, but I mean, the... It'll come when you least expect it. Cliche it doesn't really work for a lot of people. You know, at least if you are actively dating, you have a, some control over it. Or you end up settling for less than you deserve. Well, not with you. I'm going to be honest with you, Ian. You find me sexy? I've never really felt genuine connections with people in my life. I'm too sexy for my sweater? This feels different. Do I give the tingly hmm. winglies? But it's not romantic. Damn it! Oh. Sorry, Ryan. I don't mean for it to sound brutal, I promise. Are we in the friend zone? Oh, I'll let you off the hook. Oh. English isn't your first language. <laughs> <laughs> that does suck, though. Damn, all that work and we went to the friend zone? Just Aww. because it hasn't worked out this time, it doesn't mean you're going to be single forever. It might, though. I'm going to be single I mean, forever. Yeah, it might, but the possibility of that are slim. I mean, look, everybody ends up in a relationship eventually. There will be someone out there. Mm. Thank you for making I was doing so I good, too. I to make you laugh and yeah. to take you to weird events that make you really uncomfortable. I don't appreciate you for that, but I appreciate you for making me feel a bit better. At least you met new people. At least I met new people, yes. Exactly. I promise you we'll find someone for you. And me, but mainly you. <laughs> okay. Thank yeah. you. Good night. I, I, love you. I guess I guess my go I guess my girlfriends are going to be uh, be the, the girls on the video games. Love you too. Shit. Okay, sleep well. Okay. Bye. Bye. Fuck. <laughs> in search for love continues. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Alright. What how many achievements did we get off of this? Only one? Really? I got a ten pointer. Woohoo! Alright, well, this game is actually, this this is alright. It's not as good as, as Five Dates is. Um, now, the good news is with this one, unlike Five Dates, you can actually try um, The Girl Now. So, what I was thinking about doing is, um, I have about 45 minutes before I need to get offline. If you want, um, I could either go for some retro playing um, or I could try to play some other girl um, on her date. Which, which which do you think you would like better? Yeah. 
You want to try? You want to see the girl? I don't know if I'm, I'll be able to complete it, but we can get pretty far. Just give me another minute or two. I'll be right back. You know what, Goals? I think you're probably right. Okay, so. Interrupt Brandy twice when speed dating. Like all of Brandy's social... Oh, I was supposed to like her shit? I didn't know you could like her st Oh. Well, damn, I gotta pay more attention. I didn't know it was that interactive. Let's do a new game. Let's choose Misha here. Okay, let's let's pick her man. Misha's 27, 5'2, and she lives in London. And she likes sticking her tongue out. Oh, that's a pretty picture. I like that one. It's kinda kinda like uh a cute meets where is Waldo kind of picture. I'll go with that one. Industry. We're gonna say finance. Uh, we'll go with uh, spirituality, uh, sports and fitness, and do we want to make her a partier? All right, you guys pick a third one. What would you guys like to see? Charity, food and drink, technology, arts and culture, travel. Arts, okay, well choose arts. All right, I'm gonna pick a random one. Uh, what looks good here? Let's go with a tortoise, I mean tortoise. I'm not good at signs, I just pick random shit. Is he picking it? He's picking his nose. Ah, oh, there was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great, you're welcome. What's happening? Uh, I just got back from work an hour ago. Same. I've made myself some food. Okay, same, same intro. And I've just got off the phone with my landlord. Oh, not same. Yeah, I missed a payment, but <sighs> it's, it's fine. I've paid it now and it, it's settled anyway. Mm. Anyway, mm. I've got some news. Okay. I joined a dating app. Have you? Well, I mean, they are inevitable. 
I was expecting more shit from you. Well, what, what's the saying they have? Um, people in glass houses can't throw stones. No way, you too. Mm. Oh, yeah. Matches? Yes, a lot. Now a zero. But don't like apps, like help out new users with Misha, like, likes and you're not helping. You know, they really try and help you get people to like you because you're new. Misha, I still have zero, even with whatever you just said. There's still zero. What about you? Hey, the grass isn't always greener. I've got like 80 likes. But like once you filter out like the bad profiles and hey, the likes. nude pics and the meh ones, it's all just a bit quiet. Are your standards a little bit high? No. Anyway. I have a new initiative in the works. What's that? You're going to kidnap someone? I've signed up for speed dating tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why are you telling me this? Because I'm I just, I really like, don't know if I can ever do, do you speed dating. have a drink before? Could you just say less? It'd be great if you just stopped speaking about 30 seconds ago. See you there. Bye. Bye. I swear to God, they, get, they act like brother and sister. No substitute for meeting someone face to face, like you can see their physicality, feel their vibe. Oh wow, yes, she is severely no underdressed. You if you're online, you can log off, you can make it an excuse, you can just be gone. My internet connection is crap. Mm. What do you do here? Welcome everyone to Speed Dating. My name's Derek, I'm your host. We're going to be beginning very shortly, so gentlemen, if you could make your way to your table numbers. You are so cynical. This is where you're going to find that genuine connection you keep banging on about. <laughs> Why are you smiling at me like that? <gasps> Ni Why are you smiling at me like that? No, I'm not smiling. You're like nothing. Misha? There is a small possibility I might have signed us both up. I'm not doing it. You are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, I'll just leave. Oh, come on. No. Look, at least it's going to well, be a good story. On the way it out is not going to be a good story. I'm just going to get humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm not doing Excuse it. Excuse me. It's a great story. So great. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing the shop floor. I'm perusing, not browsing. I'm Sorry, perusing. <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> okay, so the women stay at the table, the men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man now. So you go to different tables and you speak to girls. What do I say? Whatever you like, but you have five minutes, okay? Mm, okay. And halfway through the date, that dude over there will give us a warning. And then he'll also tell us when there's one minute left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. No, hence why I don't want to do it. Exactly. Uh, we're going to start with the gentleman by your first allotted table numbers. And good luck. Have fun. <laughs> um, All right, let's do this. You're sitting in my first date seat, so I need you to jog on. Go well, lad. <sighs> Cheers. All right. Let's get down. Ty, in the fast lane. Hey. Hey, you good? Yeah, I'm Misha. I'm Ty. You're Sir. not drinking? No, no bikes and alcohol don't go together. True. Oh, it's sorry, it's a pandemic hangover. You're an elbow bumper. Ah. I think this is the first time I've been around so many people again. I'm still getting used to the whole handshake thing. Maybe you're used to skin on skin contact. Oh, he paints his too. fingernails. How nice. What's important is that we're all out together. Well, kind of. Well, you don't want to be out <laughs> with me. Well, we're both at this speed dating event, coincidentally. Together. Oh, so you're arguing with me. Whoa. Be Not at all. Bring it on. This guy's already starting to So, shit. how do you spend your days, Ty? This and that. He's a free spirit. <laughs> Five minutes are going well. It's a bit appropriate. Leave it. Leave it. So, did you get up to much this weekend? It's been a pretty rough week, so just blowing off some steam. Hmm, cryptic. What do you do? Care to elaborate? I'm sure we can find some more interesting things to talk about. Come on, what was so draining about your weekend? Easy there, Nosy. The weekend was between me and my sheets, and it's gonna stay that way. You this is your slut! Warning, guys. Three minutes to go. And I. All right, so the first date's so, always gonna turn out to be all what, fucked what up. Are you speed dating? I tend to run in the same circles. Gets a bit old. Mm. 
So you've exhausted your circle of options. What do you think I am? Yeah, kind of. What do you think I am? Not sure. Still deciding. Would you say you're open-minded? Why? You can't just answer the question. Oh, I can answer. Okay. Prove it. I would say I am. Cool. Now, are you going to tell me why you asked me that? I like to know where I stand with people. This world's always changing, and it's important for us to stay open. It's hard to do that when you're grown. <laughs> are we grown? Getting there. Trying. Just don't like labels. If I want to do something that's out of excitement or curiosity, then so be it. Whether that's in my social life, my work life, my sex life. I see. I'm one of those people who wants to try everything once. See where he's going Variety with this. The spice of life. I lost my parents when I was young. And, uh, you know, there's a lot there that I'm trying to make up for as an adult. I'm really sorry. No, no, it's fine. I was like, this big when it happened, so. Just goes to show you, life, all of this is just so, so short and, um, and fragile. And we owe it to ourselves, you know, you, me, even that guy dressed as a daffodil over there, to do everything we can to explore, everything we can to find happiness and pleasure. How's that going for you and him? Well, pretty damn this. well for me, I'm not sure about him. And I'm getting good, you know, finding out what my appetites are and what my body needs. Now we're talking about food, yeah? Everything. Oh, uh, this guy's getting... One minute um, to go, guys. Just 60 seconds. Better make it count. He's getting kind He's of dirty. very high fashion. I like nice materials on my skin. See, my boxes are made of extremely soft material. Mmm, sounds nice. Do you want to know where they're from? Where? You'll go. That wasn't part of the deal. Uh, we never made a deal. Uh, oh, come laugh. on, hurry up. I'm running out of time. We'll laugh at him. <laughs> You're not going to tell me, are you? Nope. No fair. <laughs> I don't really like being laughed at either. I'm not and? laughing at you, Ty. Mm-hmm. And your time is up. Okay. Thank you, ladies and gents. Deuces. Oh, saved by the bell. This time. I want to see you again. Whoa! What's your handle? How about you give me yours? Games, games. Mm, I just gotta lay out all my suitors. It's at it's tie twenty five. Oh, jackpot! It's been fun. Very. <laughs> ah, good stuff. Good stuff. Craft beer. Jake, class in session. Hey. hey. Well, hello, sir. I'm a hugger. Should, should we hug? No, up? no, no, no. <laughs> Dude, you just wouldn't shake that. I'm uh, Jake. No, Keisha. I'm calling uh, bullshit. I think I might have crinkled your shirt a bit better. She refused to shake the one guy's hand, but she's going to get all up and hug this dude. What the fuck? Nope. Nope. Uh, no, I, I, I don't think you did. I've, um, then he, his first sentence okay, out of his like mouth is, story. I'm a my, hugger. Uh, my grandmother buys me a birthday gift every year. And she likes he to does look like Jake from State Farm, huh? a vintage 2013. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I'm a teacher and clearly too busy to buy my own clothes. <laughs> so, do you have any um, birthday traditions? Oh, I don't know if I can compete with that shirt. Grandma clearly knows our drip. Hey, she's, uh, she's got good taste. <laughs> Uh, yes. I actually do have a tradition. My granddad always buys me a jumper on my birthday. I do love a jumper. Mm, but he's colorblind, so... <laughs> but instead of seeing the colors differently, he sees them all the same. Mm. It's called, um... Tritonomaly. <laughs> <laughs> this speed dating business is such, like, an interesting format. Yeah, I think so. I, um, I actually don't get out too often. School's quite full on, so... Summer holidays, though. Exactly. Mm. You speed dated? Before, if that's a verb. Oh, you're gonna uh, me on this no. day, aren't you? No, I, I wouldn't do that to you, of course not. Oh. No. I haven't speed dated before. Okay. Just use apps and trying to meet people the old fashioned way. Yeah, me too. I um I don't normally do this type of thing, but I kinda thought, hey, why not enlist the help? Mm. You're investing in your own happiness. I love that for you. Yeah. 
Yeah, I love that for me too. What is most important to you in a relationship? <laughs> yeah, uh, glad you added that last part. I'm not sure we're ready for politics yeah. just yet. Three minutes to go. Three minutes. Well, maybe I'd be so bold to say I'm looking for love. What about you? Me okay. too. Was that too much? No, I mean, it's honest. Nothing else, I'm honest. Uh, <laughs> good to know. Brains. I want good conversation. Someone who can challenge me intellectually. Because he looks like the smart guy. To expect simulating conversation from someone you're spending time with. Hmm. Now, as for the challenge part, so I gave the kids a pop quiz today. That's it. Did you do this with all the ladies? Oh, is it that obvious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I don't do it very often. Sure, if we have enough time. Enough for a quick fire, true or false round? Mm hmm. Okay. Let's do okay, it. Great. Um, all right, I'm ready. Question one There is no word in the English language that rhymes with orange. True. Orange. I've heard this one. It should be true. True. Correct. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, second question. The Caribbean island of Aruba is part of Portugal. Uh, false? False. The island belongs to the Netherlands? Correct. Right? <laughs> okay, third question. There are 14 bones in the human foot. True. Ooh, incorrect. It's actually 28 bones in each foot. That's a lot of bones. A lot of bones. Lot of bones. He lied. Okay, two out of three. It's very good. Mm, it feels a bit mid to me. I tried. It's above average, though. I'll take that as a compliment. I got two out of three, so <laughs> I am the best. One minute to go. One minute warning. So what else do you do with yourself, Jake, besides date randoms? <laughs> I, um, I like to read a lot. It's, uh... Yeah, it's one of my favourite hobbies. Air quotes, nice. <laughs> I picked up a book in my time. Favourite genre? Oh, finishing with the tough. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> we'll determine our entire future together. Mm, no pressure. <gasps> oh! I was going to choose erotic, but that's going to be the wrong answer. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pick crime. <laughs> I have to confess, I like a little crime. A little crime? Yeah, a little light. Killing spree from time to time. Right, I, I should probably just call my mum then. I'm not a serial killer. Though I would say that, wouldn't I? Actually, if you're into killing sprees, that makes you more of a mass murderer, not a serial killer. Mm. That so is true. Only yes, that is very true. Over one sustained period of time. Okay, see? Touché. Mm. I think they like the same thing. I don't know, can we stop? <laughs> yes, please, because yeah, I'm not into crime fiction. I, I hate it with a passion. Oh, and never that mind. Is time, ladies and gents. Okay. Well, well fuck. Um, it's over a bit too soon. Mm, it was. Listen, I'd, um, I'd love to be able to contact you. Oh, yeah, and um, what's your socials? Uh, I'm not actually on socials. I don't even have a smartphone. Oh, yes, nice some guy with a fucking pen and day. paper. Nice work. <laughs> this guy came prepared with little <laughs> folded up pieces that. of paper and a pen. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> right. I'll call you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Yes, this is a new game. I'm, I'm doing the girl version for now. Alright, so the next time I play this, I gotta remember if it's the... Oh. oh hey. Can I? Yeah, of course. Thank you. <sighs> kind of has like a Heath Ledger thing going on. No, I've been waiting my whole life for this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, my, um, I've only just finished work, you see, so it takes Dude, you look like you're 12 years old. I get that. <laughs> I dragged my friend here, completely surprised him. Gosh, oh, that's like my, uh, worst nightmare, I think. You must be good friends. You don't like surprises? Um, it, it's not that I don't like surprises, it's just that, I mean, it's, it's about the context, isn't it, really? And I think for me, I just like to be informed about what I'm doing. Mm, overcautious. I'd say considered. Um, I am a freelance computer engineer, that's what I do, and because of that, my work hours are just all over the place. What's your living situation? Do you have any flatmates? I actually live on my own, which, to be honest, I love. 
Antisocial, though. I don't know if you found this, but as you get older, yeah, he's just definitely looks like he's twelve years old. And smaller avenues of making friends. But what the they fuck is he drinking? Their click, you know. So I suppose looks like Kool Aid. So amazing for that. If you don't mind me asking, how do you afford to live on your own? It was something I was working on, just like, did well. So chilling. I decided, yeah. If I'm I can hit the live button, place. you can hit the live button, Reserve sir. It. And the rest is history. <laughs> You could actually try to do it in you, small you steps too. To you can hit the live button with no camera, with people, and both. then eventually work I yourself. For a bit and they put me up. Oh, and then, well, yeah, slowly work yourself into streaming. In your own, I, I think he could do it. Uh, let's go. I don't know what he just said. I'm just gonna say share. That sounds good. It's lovely getting home to a warm house with people in it. I think it's quite a special time in life. What is? Oh, living with friends it doesn't last forever. Yeah, you're right. I mean, for me, again, I, I definitely love being alone, but it's great that you've experienced that. We'll see. There so you go. Like and that'll help you with the courage. You wouldn't want to live with a partner? No, I, I definitely live with someone. I just said, screw it. I'm going to go all another. the way. So I put the camera on and everything. I think what I need is just my own space to be able to work and, and focus. That's it. That's healthy. The last couple of years have been tough, but... I'm grateful that we went through it when we had video calling. Exactly, I mean, and that wouldn't have been possible without technology. It's taking over the world. So are you aware of the synchronicity then? That's when uh, AI will eventually surpass mankind. You know, robots ruling the world and all that. <laughs> if you could say yes or no to that happening, what would you say? Uh, okay. Surely robots already run the world. I mean, like 30% of tasks are done by computers. Exactly. What a statistic. Cyberdyne Systems so, has taken over already. Scared. No, it's the future, isn't it? So, might as well just step into it. I'm terrified. Honestly, you don't need to be terrified. You Can don't. you imagine walking into a bar and not being able to tell who's a robot and who's real? I mean, I feel like that anyway. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, um, oh. Yeah. This is your halfway warning, guys. Oh my god, go. sir. 180 seconds. Couldn't tell you how many minutes seconds. Oh, really? It's, it's time. You're wearing a watch, yet you still checked your phone. You're right. Um, hands up, I must be a phone addict, and a laptop addict, and a tablet junkie, so... Oh, yeah. the full set. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You wondering about me? Yeah. I feel like everyone should be asses on a first date. Why? So you know how distracted... Everybody's a tech addict now. Let's do it. Okay, so I am addicted to my phone, but... Here comes the excuse. No, it's a generational <laughs> thing. I mean, we grew up with our phones. I mean, they're like part of us. They're essential tools for our daily routines. I could not agree more. You know, we are just so immersed in technology. People don't even realize it. We are constantly interacting with it. And it goes far beyond just phones. Oh, yeah, I mean, GPS, search engines. My God, I'd be useless without all of that. And take contactless payments, for example. That has completely revolutionized the whole... I would just like to say, growing up in the 90s, we didn't have any of this shit, and we got along just fine. We actually had to go to libraries. We actually had to do our research from books. We didn't have... We didn't have this stuff when I was growing up. Social Cell phones economics. didn't really come out How? until... Me. I was a junior. For example, back a day, you would have maybe to even a sophomore in high wallet, school. Get some coins out and pass it to the cashier. Whereas I can now just go. Boop, yeah, I had a pager in high school like myself. So I'd say these things here are definitely uh, let's go ahead and the listen. quickest way to buy things at the moment. I actually. Um, I've actually showed my pager <clears> off on stream I a couple times. A smart band it still works. What's that? It's just so not you know, connected to any any you know carrier. You got that little metal connect bit. I've took a microchip with the same kind of contactless uh, software and I've put it into it. So you can tie your hair up with it and you just have it around your wrist. And with that, you could pay for something. And it's not as you know flashy as something like this. So it's inconspicuous. That's a pretty genius idea. Thank you. Have you released any of them? I, I made a few prototypes of the device. And then what I did was I reached out to a big tech company and sold the patent. So that's a pretty big deal. Oh my God, are you loaded? I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm signed up to NDAs. You know, it's legally, I can't. I just really legally shouldn't have told you. I'm just... All right, you guys know what NDAs are, right? Told you, you know, so I can't. Now is he lying? 
One minute That's to go. something like I was trying to figure out. One minute. It's your final minute. And then we have to wrap it yep. up. Yep. Moving on. This has been an interesting date. Oh, no. I, I haven't offended you. I'm trying to figure out if he's lying. No, 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 not at all. I, and I hope I haven't offended you. I'm still here, or not? I mean, not for much longer. We should make the last 60 seconds count. Okay. I read somewhere that extroverts deal with these kind of situations a lot better than introverts. So, would you say you're more extrovert or introvert? Mm, good question. The I way know. she's acting, I'm gonna go Come with on. extrovert. In life, people either favor one side of the spectrum over the other. I'm definitely an extrovert. I think I thrive off meeting new people. So you're a social vampire. But I don't feed on blood, I feed off of human interaction. <laughs> well, I think that'd be an amazing partnership, you know, for me to be with someone outgoing. And no, outgoing. I'm oh, going so more towards liar. Talking. No, it's just that you could help me come out of my shell, you know, even though I like my privacy. And because if you I noticed, be there when, we, you when, when, we played, when we played the girl, or when we were trying to date the girl that I was trying to get with at the end of the game, she totally flipped a script and her walls lowered and she was almost like a, almost a completely different person. So that's why I'm kind of saying I'm leaning more towards a liar with this guy. Feel tranquil. Because he's going to come out, oh, no, no, I didn't really do this, blah, 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 blah. up for that day, gents. Your date is awaiting. And see, you, that. you see, no, you see that eye he looked? He's checking her out. Much? I don't know. Yeah. It just it, something um, tells me creeper. My handle is at the band coder. Mmm, unique handle. I'll hit you up. Thank you. And, um, bye, Misha. Bye. Yep, yep, creeper. I'm going with creeper. Yep, that's a creeper. Bash. Lads, lads, lads. Hello. Hey. Ooh, aren't Hi, we the, just a happy Bash. shipper type? Here for the interview. You've been on holiday. You got that healthy beach glow. Really? Mm, what's a holiday? Oh, that's sad. I just got back from a stag day. Mm, nice. What did you get up to today? <laughs> uh, just played some farmer side football with the boys. Yeah, pretty knackered. Oh, I love sport. <laughs> Basketball, tennis. Football? Not really. Oh. I'm just messing. I was actually on my junior female football league at school. No, you weren't. Mm -hmm. See, I like sports that I can play. As far as I know, tell me if I'm wrong, but isn't football in their country spelled F U T B O L? Because the way they're spelling it here, it's spelled F O O T B A L L, which is American football. I, I think they got that wrong. Oh, so they don't spell it F U T B O L? It's 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 spelled F O O T B A L L. So that that is right the way they're spelling it. Because I mean, every time I see that, I think of American yeah, I mean, football. It's like so much better when you know how to do what they're doing. And well, yeah, I know football is soccer, but I'm just saying they spell it. Art. That's beautiful. Maybe it, maybe it's just like I, I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. So your name? What about it? Well, it's got to be a nickname, right? Yeah, if one needs a nickname. So what's the story? It's a long story. Condense it? No, it's a long story. Leave it. Oh, don't leave me guessing. Please give me some options. All right, we're going to press him. So are you. Yeah, fair. Spelled the same? Judge. Okay. I'm just really... I was just, I was just curious about it, because I've seen okay. it spelled F-U-T-B-O-L. Maybe with... that's just in that's Spanish. Boner. I beg your pardon? Okay, look, look, I was 11, and I was on a school adventure trip, and I got an awkward boner while I was waiting for my turn to go abseiling. And obviously everyone thought I was, you know... Having a bash. Yeah. And you go by that nickname voluntarily. Well, everyone calls me it, so I don't really have a choice, do I? <laughs> this is your halfway warning, guys. What? Three minutes to go. Wow. Uh, five, okay, five, well, I mean, she asked. No, but my name is already sort of a nickname, apparently. It he... means Michael in Russian. Michael. He, uh... Once. He nicked my girlfriend. Okay. Said, I'm sure she could choose for herself. Can I call you Mike? Yeah. You've got any real nicknames, then? God, no one's ever asked me about nicknames before. Well, I am honoured to be the first. All right, give me one. So come on, I'm going And don't on. call me a boner. My mate Ryan calls me Muggy Misha. I apparently mug him off a lot. In the blue corner, the biggest rocket here tonight, Muggy Misha! <laughs> you practiced that in front of the mirror, didn't you? 100%. He did. 
He so, did. did you do any exercise during lockdown? Oh, seamless. I'm oh, just trying to keep the chat moving forward. Oh, lockdown. It's dragging up a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it was a weird time, wasn't it? I did these daily, like, online workout videos with that dude who's now, like, a UK phenomenon and probably a millionaire. The geezer with the curly hair? Yeah. yeah. He's decent. Like, good for you. Don't patronise me. No, I mean it. Good for you. I did a bit, but I found it, like, well hard to get motivated. See, so far, so I think they get along that. really well. It was in Turin, in Estonia. Tallinn, Estonia? Yes. <laughs> it started <laughs> off a little awkward, but... Stag capital of Europe, right? I think I think so these two are so far are pretty good. The second night was an absolute madness, okay? We were all in these morph suits, right? <laughs> and the groom had to wear this mankini. By 5 p.m., he was absolutely battered. But after a little tactical woman, we were ready to go to the club. Uh, I need to hear the rest of the story. It was the best night any of us had ever had. Drinks were flowing, there were back to back bangers on the playlist, all the lads, they were all together. What are bangers? Then there's a little bump in the road. This bird takes a liking to the groom, wants to go back to his room. No freaking way he didn't. Don't worry, Big Bad Bash was there to intercept the potential disaster. No, it's not something encouraging for a happily married life, is it? Yeah. We all had a big old heart to heart with him the morning after about it. Oh, I gotcha. That's all we can do is his mates, you know? In my mind, cheating is absolutely unacceptable. And his wife to be, she deserves better. Oh, this is commendable on your part. I have to have some principles tonight. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. So, so far, yeah, like I said, so far this is probably Seems the best like guy be for her, right? In my opinion. Is she coming already? Definitely. You seen anyone you like, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. What about you? You didn't answer me properly. What more do you want from me? I don't know, small detail? Names, maybe? Nope, no names necessary. I may have seen a few hotties. Yeah? Hotties? All right, show me. <laughs> oh, don't you like that? At <laughs> like what? Uh-huh. trying to make me jealous. Trying. Oh, whatever, man. And your time is up. All right, day's oh, over. Gents, you'll be moving along to your next table. That wasn't so bad, was it? It wasn't. What's your socials? Yes, yes, we stay in touch. It's um, at Big Bash One Two Three. Oh, you need a better handle. You love it. Ugh. See my DMs, mate. Oh yeah, oh, no look at that. That's confidence. No. You love it. <laughs> this dude. What's up, girl? Oh shit, I forgot. All right, so in the guy version, there's going to be a chance to where you can flip the script, and if you want to be gay in this game, you can. So for now, I don't know. If I, should I keep him straight, or should I flip the script? But this is definitely the part. No way. What are the chances? Flip it. <laughs> All right, we'll flip the, the script. Podcast, the miserable millennial book club. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you here for this speed dating thing? Oh, I'm just waiting for my mate to finish, yeah. You? No. <laughs> I prefer to do things solo. Reading at a bar seems like a new Me one. too. Well, considering all the coffee shops are short, I don't really have a choice. I'm the same, actually. I like taking myself out for a meal or a spa day or a weekend away. Or... A spa weekend away. Mate, stop. <laughs> I'm Hazel, by the way. Misha. My absolute favourite thing to do solo, which I totally recommend, is go to the cinema. Mm. You can lean back, switch your phone off for a few hours and just solve the story. Seems like a great mode of self-care. I just love my films, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you were to go, what would you watch? Alone. Alone? On a date? Whatever. Uh, I don't have to go to the cinema alone. Alone? Um, all right, well, what genre would you Comedy. Play? I love comedy films. Oh, rom-com's my favourite. Yeah, but other types too, like buddy cop comedies and slapstick comedies. Spoofs, comedy horrors, gross-out comedies. I mean, the world needs all the laughter it can get these days. Yeah, and laughing makes you live longer too. Well, let me know if you find someone funny then. I will. <laughs> so, how was the speed dating? It was fun. Unpredictable, but, uh, yeah, fun. Did you meet anyone sexy? Is that word still in uh, Hold on, I'm gonna see if this I works. I bring it back. I'm gonna hit yes. And, yeah, I, and I'm gonna like say you. Sexies, that word? It's great. Yeah, it's nice to feel that way, isn't it? Mm. 
fresh chemistry feeling. Yeah, it's been a while since I felt that too. Yeah, you should try it sometime. No, it really isn't my style. Speed dating. Not this kind of speed dating. Right. This is your three minute warning, guys. Three minutes to go. That poor horse voice must be ruined. Yeah, it's the last date of the night, so I'll be off to meet Ryan soon. In that case, let's get you a drink for the road. <clears throat> It's two for one until the event ends, so that gives you let's about do it. two and a half minutes. How's it now? Pound it. Oh, Hell's Bells, let's do it. Yeah? yeah. Hell's oh, Bells, a ACDC a reference. Be quick, won't they? Oh, I think we can do better with what little time we've got. Shots? Shots. Shots. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. What is it? Shit? Salt, lemon first. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Vodka? That's what it looks like. No, oh, no, no. Oh, no, not live either. Can't do it straight. Ew. Oh my god, ladies, calm down. So, Hazel. <laughs> so, Hazel, I know what you do for fun, but what do you do for work? Oh no, see, this is why I didn't lead with this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do HR. Nope, mm -hmm. oh, that's it. Very, Night's over. Very boring. Nine to five. I'll see you later. That explains why you're such a people person, though. Mm -hmm. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Already? You know what I miffed about? How come Ryan got an extra date to me? Well, we can call this a speed date if you want. I agree. I, I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Why not? I mean, we are abiding by time restrictions and everything. Annoyingly. Wish we had longer. Trying to keep in touch and maybe we can hang out sometime. Give me your socials, As baby. As much as I love doing things solo, I would really love a partner in crime now and again. Someone take your pics of social media and all that. Yeah, it's more of a PA role, really. <laughs> I'd love to. And that is time. Just everyone. call me Casanova. Well, you don't want to keep Ryan waiting. <laughs> At HazelX1. You can hit me up there. How in the hell are you supposed to Funny. remember this? Bye, Hazel. Yeah. See you soon, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy that book. Bye. <laughs> she was looking at her butt. I knew it. Come on, spill the beans. How do they go? <sighs> okay. So Ty came in in his motorcycle leathers holding his helmet. <laughs> he is what you would call a a bad boy. And how do you feel about a bad boy? I don't know. I've never dated a bad boy before, but it sounds quite exciting. You want to go to the dark side, don't you? They have cookies. Well, then go. They have dark side. Oh my gosh, there was Hazel. They have cookies on the dark side? Who I met at the bar by accident. We were reading exactly the same book. We had the same interests. She was really fun. She wasn't even meant to be there. So she hadn't signed up for it? No, she was just in the bar. Okay, so she sounds like... It went well. It went really surprisingly well. Okay, nice. I'm like an Hazel. Hazel could maybe progress to date too. You think so? I think so. Okay. So that was Lucas. He mm. was a coder. He was super intelligent. I, I didn't understand half of what he said. I really think he was lovely. lying. Okay, yeah. okay. So maybe you might see him again? Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Okay, nice. Jake was really lovely. He was a teacher. He had some nice shirts. <laughs> so he's a nice he guy. He had one he's a shirt. really nice guy. He's so sweet. Could you see there being a second date? Yeah, I could. Yeah? Yeah. That sounds lovely. Bash. Well, mm. firstly, he's called Bash, uh, which tells you everything you need to know. Do you know what? He was really charming. He had really great banter. In a good way, yeah. In a really good way. He had a slightly funny haircut, but we'll let him have that. So do you think there could be another date? Yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah, uh, well, you said to flip okay, the script, good. so I have to pick Hazel. So? But I think this is probably where I gotta end it for what's tonight. What's gonna happen next? I have a few options. Well, remember what we said? You need to make the first move. Send them a message. <sighs> okay. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. Okay. So, what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Fail. All right, so first one is going to be Hazel. We'll heart some stuff.
Okay, so now that I know I have to like stuff. All right, and then let's go to... Uh, I kind of like, <laughs> so you guys didn't like Big Bash, <laughs> Big Bash 1, 2, 3. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what, Jake was a teacher, right? All right, yeah, all right, yeah. Let's, let's, let's do the Bash guy. <laughs> all right, I'm going to, whoa. Okay, Mr. Party Animal. This guy is like super jockey. Interesting. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys join this. I, I, I don't know what to say about this picture. Ghouls, do, do, do you like this? Is this something that would be cool? I guess he's with a cool dude right there. I, I I don't know. What about that one? Nah? Okay. All right. Picked. Oh, yeah. I thought I picked him. All right. So this is probably... I got to save it right here because I got to go to work. Or I got to get ready for work. You. Okay, I think we can pause this. Okay, so let me see where it resumes. It should resume right. Yes, cool. It it starts right back with her. Yep. So that is going to be it for tonight. I will continue this. Uh, Probably, I only think there's like 20 minutes left. So maybe before I do Dead Space on uh, Friday. Uh, let me check. Let me check my schedule really quick. Hmm. Oh, I love the Harry Potter game so far. I'll, I'll get back to it probably next week, I want to say. Oh no, um I have a new release coming out next week. I'll be I'll be concentrating on that one. But uh maybe towards the end of next week I'll try to get back on it. But I I definitely like the game. Uh it's just it's so big that I'm gonna have to do it in little bitty chunks. Okay, so let's see Thursday I'm off. Friday I got Shadow Warrior 3. You know what? Before we do Shadow Warrior 3. I'll go ahead and finish this one. So Friday, we'll go ahead and finish that. Do Shadow Warrior. And then after Shadow Warrior, if that doesn't last all night, we're going to move on to Hogwarts Legacy. So that'll be the schedule for uh, Friday. But Thursday, I will be off. Hey, I like cheese. Thank you for lurking. And But unfortunately, I'm about ready to get off. I'm going to go ahead and see who's online tonight. Uh. And as I've tried to warn people before, uh, Windows 10 did have an update tonight, along with Windows 11. And with this big update, it really screwed up my audio on Streamlabs. So when you guys get ready to stream, if you guys have done the update, make sure you guys um, look at your uh, audio settings because it looked like it reset a couple of them. So let me see who's online. Do 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 do. Come on, come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay, so what are my choices today? Okay, so we got Fortnite, we got Pokemon, World of Warcraft, and Forza. I'm thinking a Pokemon game would be uh, in call. Oh, no worries. 
I like to try to keep everybody informed. If, if at all you guys are confused with the schedule, you guys could just check my uh, my uh, schedule on Twitch. It's always I try to post about a week in advance so you guys know what games I'll be playing. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go for uh, Pokemon today. I've never seen Pokemon. I don't really play Pokemon, but more power to everybody who likes them. I mean, I just was never into it. So let me go ahead and get the raid ready. And that will be Aries Fire. Oops. There he is. Okay, the raid should start here in about 10 seconds. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. And I will be back tomorrow for Retro Day. And I am. Uh, we are going to be doing in celebration of uh, the new Game Boy uh, Retro games that came out. I will be playing some Game Boy Special games. So I will be playing Super Mario Land 2. Maybe just with a warm-up game of Tetris. So be prepared for uh, Retro Gaming on the Nintendo Switch tomorrow. Game Boy version. So other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. And uh, we'll prepared to have some retro fun um so the next retro will be pretty fun as well but i'll leave that as a surprise for now and i will see you guys later good night everybody a Nuzlocke um, for the hardest, well, one of the hardest Pokemon games out there. And there are competitive um, Pokemon players that have completed this challenge 